Welcome back to Pop Hollers. Holla holla! It's been a little bit since we've made a video, and not because I left him. We got through that, it was all good. I approved of all of the purchases, but we've just been busy because life is busy. And in that busyness, we've let a lot of packages of pops pile up. So we thought that we would start to just chip away at showing off some of the recent pops that we've got over the past few months <laughs> by doing a few shorter videos in the coming weeks. So we thought we would start off with a nice little short video today. It's going to be short and sweet because it is mini moments. I don't know why I just made that noise with my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> that was weird. So what we have to show today is that we have the entire set of the Funko Mini Moments of the show, The Office. There we are. Now we already have the Seinfeld set, which looks really great. Um, there's this one. I know there's WandaVision. And it, there's just some cool Funko Mini Moments that they've started to create. Uh, and basically what these are, if you are unfamiliar with them, is that they take a prominent scene or place or setting from a show um, and then they create it into little sections that you piece together. So obviously in the office, this is all of the different pieces that put together the main characters uh, in the office setting. Mm. It's kind uh, of like- Dunder Mifflin. Dunder Mifflin. It's kind of like an adult Fisher Price toy. It's like almost like a little play set. That's what it reminds me of. So we're going to just kind of unbox each of these, piece it together, and then we'll show what that looks like mm -hmm. rather than show off each little part on its own. Uh, maybe once we have the whole scene set up, we'll take you on a quick little tour through Dunder Mifflin. <laughs> so here we go. And there we have it. We have put together the portion of the Dunder Mifflin office that they have put in this set. I don't know if they're going to expand on it because there's no other yeah, I don't holes think or any. options for it, which is unfortunate. It would have been cool if they had more um, because then, you know, we could have had Stanley and Phyllis and everybody else in the other HR. sections. Yeah, HR <laughs> could have had their own section, but it's cool as it is. Um, I like how when it's set up, if we display it this way, you can obviously see into everything. They haven't put that fourth wall kind of by the meeting room for them. Mm -hmm. So you can still see into Michael's office. It's fine. It yeah. can't be perfect when it's just a little mini moment, right? But I think this looks really cool when it is fully set up and they have some of the finer details, which is really great. And there's a few of them. Like if you only got Michael's office or you only got Pam's workstation, those are pretty cute just stand alone because they do have the wall yep. included with them. I mean, the, the waiting area is not really reminiscent of Daryl, but no. I love Daryl, so I'm glad that he was included in there. But I feel like Jim and Dwight really need the rest of the set to really be enjoyed. Oh yeah, for sure. And I thought, in all honesty, when we got Daryl's, it was the side office that would have been like <laughs> over here, like when he got promoted. And mm -hmm. I thought that was what he was going to be in. I didn't even realize it was just the front entrance. Yeah, but. this is like season one OG yeah. Dunder Mifflin. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so I'll just, I'll take the camera down here and give a little bit closer look so you can see what we're okay. dealing with. So if you kind of envision coming in the main door of Dunder Mifflin, this is the initial seating area. So there we've got Daryl and they have the kind of art on the wall. They've got a few different prints. But even around the first corner, you can see that they have that awesome photo of the outside of the uh, Dunder Mifflin building, which is great. And then even while we're here, let's just peek in and you can see through the blinds that they have open there. There's Michael Scott and you can see his desk has his probably world's best boss uh, on the front of it. So we might as well just go into his office while we're here. If we go in over top, you'll see the layout of everything. So he's got stuff on his shelves. He's got a map on the wall. You know, there's kind of that faux plant that's up against the wall as well. And then here it is from the other side. So if you were to display it like this and you can look in, we've got him there. And it's pretty cool with these ones. You can press down a bit harder on the pieces and they stay right in the object. So like he's in the chair. And if I lift Michael's head, the chair comes with him. Our Seinfeld one, I don't think, I'd actually have to go back and check, but I don't think they stay in that well. They almost kind of lean, uh, which I'll show you with Daryl when I go back outside of Michael's office here. But 
it's really cool that you can press them down a little bit more firm and that will keep him uh, nice and in place in his office. So there's Michael's office, which is neat. So we'll leave there. And if we look back in from the outside uh, of his, his office in, this is kind of the view that I guess Stanley would have every day, right? He's looking at the back of Dwight's head. We've got Jim Halpert over there on the right. Uh, and again, we've pressed them down pretty firm. So if Dwight was to spin around in his chair, there he is looking pretty cool which is not something you normally say for Dwight. Um, so we'll take a closer look at them here. Right? If you look on this side of them, there's the view that Pam would have more often than not, right? She gets to oogle at Jim and there's Dwight there. So it's a really cool, simple setup that they have for this whole thing. And then last but not least, we'll take a look at uh, Pam's little workstation. Oops, pardon me. There she is there. So again, tons of detail considering this is just a little mini moment. Like all of the different items that are on the desk around her, like we've got even the printer or the fax machine here, right? All of the different pieces of art, even that coat hanger, right? They didn't put the actual uh, coat hanger out that, can, can, can it, that it would get knocked over or whatever, but it's there on the wall, which is pretty neat. And we'll just kind of pan out at the end and there you go. The office. Funko Mini Moments. Uh, so that is our episode today for checking out the Office Mini Moments. Um, you were mentioning that we, it would be good for us to kind of let people know that you can get chases for th some of these as well. Right? Yes, yeah, so the difference with the chase is the actual characters have different outfits. So I think um, Michael, Dwight, and Jim are in their disguises when they go and they sneak into another branch. So <laughs> yeah. they've got like mustaches and work uniforms. And then I think Daryl's in like a basketball uniform and Pam's got a different little uh, work outfit on, yeah. which is kind of a cute detail. Yeah. We did get a chase for Elaine in our Seinfeld yep. set. Um, but the office would still remain the same. So I'm glad exactly. that we have sort of like the original set for this. Yeah, and it's neat that if you do feel like having a bit of a visual upgrade and you happen to come across and are able and fortunate enough to get any of those chases, uh, it would add a nice little touch to it if you kind of get bored of seeing the same setup all the time. Or just because you want to play with them and <laughs> make them have different <laughs> yeah, outfits. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, we should let them get back to work. We're sorry for interrupting, but I'm sure they're used to having a camera crew around anyway. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed this short little episode. Again, I'm so sorry that it's taken us a long time to get another one out of here. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we promise there will be more coming shortly. So until next time, happy, happy hauling! hauling.